in the city of Cagliari on the island of Sardinia in Italy, baby. I'm going to roam this place, check out some cool spots. I just got here, so why not start with a nice rooftop overview? So, I got a car, I got a bunch of supplies, I'm gonna be basically living Inside for the duration of the trip. Never been on this island before. It's not small. Surprisingly, there's quite a bit of abandoned shit, unusual stuff. Stuff I'm kind of not used to exploring. So I'm intrigued. But of course, I gotta start with the city. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. Okay, I'm a bit out of breath and probably the whole city can see me now, so it's not wise to stand here long, but... Good stuff. Good stuff. This is fun. All right, gotta start heading down. Okay, I got one more spot in the city. I still gotta get down from here. Hopefully nobody's planning an ambush for me in the stairway. I took my time up here, <laughs> but it's worth it. Seems to be good. I'm gonna try the elevator. Hi, that's how I look. That's how I looked when the guy actually came towards me. I noticed a slight reflection in the wall here and I immediately took my shit off. He saw my face, so that's good. He didn't see all this shit just staring at him. Wow, what a coincidence. Seems chill. I'm definitely not walking out like this. This could not go any slower. So, so I probably failed to mention this, but I got a car. No more biking around for me. Look, train surfing's fun, biking's fun, but this is not a small island and I want to visit quite a few places, so I need an energy sufficient way of getting around. So yeah, I might as well take advantage of my driver's license. Yay, no parking tickets bit cramped in here but yeah boys here we go I really hope that I'm not gonna end up in a car fail compilation POV dash cam all that stuff that's uh, making a bunch of commotion in the back that's my water supply and they got all my food in here i really want to get out of the city bro let's just hope i climb more than i drive in this trip turn off here and i already see the stadium lights should be very close i don't know much about this stadium other than it's abandoned and then there's a brand new one next door but hopefully there's no on-site security but we'll see okay okay almost there god damn i really want to get out of the city these cars stress me out Okay, there it is. Okay, let's do a little reconnaissance, I guess. Yeah, it does seem quite abandoned. And a guard booth seemingly there. This fence is climbable, but maybe there's a gap somewhere. Yeah, some cameras. And there's my way in. Right there. All right, so I'm just gonna park this car a bit further away. Not next to the entrance. I'm gonna be the only car parked here. Well, what are you gonna do? Okay. 
Hopefully I can climb one of those uh, light stands as well. Look pretty cool. I'm actually going the wrong way. I need to go that way. So far it seems chill. The guard booth is on the opposite side. My entrance is somewhere there. Don't really see any problems. Of course. We'll see. I just hope that all those cameras are indeed abandoned. So there are these cameras on the corners that have just passed. I'm pretty sure those are the active ones. The guard should have like a route around the stadium, but I really doubt anybody's gonna like really search for me. Maybe if I climb the light stands, I might get somebody's attention, but this place looks pretty chill. All right. Yeah, so those are the cameras. Look pretty dead. Huh, nice. The vibe here is totally different. Yeah, this place is much bigger than it looked from the outside. Okay, so the guard booth is literally on that side there. I think I'm gonna go that way to the uh, the big box for the VIP people. That's the side I want to explore more and hopefully climb that later. Meet the crows. Place is so cool. Oh, pretty flowers. Actually, I wanna check the first floor before I go up. Let's see what's good down here. Oh, some stuff here. <laughs> nice, 2013, huh? I guess this is not that old of a stadium, unless this is just trash, but nope, there's the CD. Yeah, yeah, the exercise bike. Antivirus is a priority. 2005 Tim Cup. Maybe we can actually find the Tim Cup in here. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the Tim Cup. There's plenty of Tim Cups. All that effort for this, huh? Ah, oh, some fresh keyboards. Sweet. Security tags, printers, cash register. Oh, is that the stadium jail? Nice. And this looks like the end. Yep. This one looks pretty cool. Oh, this feels cheap as hell. Ah, oh, Mont Blanc. One day maybe I'll climb Mont Blanc. DVD player or something. Hidden Cave of Treasures. From 2005. Wanna look at some old PCs. <laughs> look at the size of this. Man, I bet these could still start up. At least the hard drives, individual components. Oh, I had a pair of these generic ass speakers. Uh, let's see what's there. Oh wow, that is a storage unit. <sighs> hmm. All the events that occurred here. I really like old flea markets and stuff, that's why I'm just digging through here, but I gotta continue. I can't continue digging through these memories of yesteryear, but I wanna progress a bit. Let's get to the broadcaster's rooms. There we go. Well, it actually seems like they're in worse condition than the basements. Crashed. All right, well, surprisingly, the basements look way better than the, whatever this room is called. So let's climb the light poles. Let's do it. is moving. I know you can't really tell, but I'm smiling. <sighs> it's a lot to take in with these overviews. I actually want to get just in between these lights somehow. Come on. This is the cool spot I always wanted to be at. 
in between the lights at a stadium. I always thought this was the best spot to view the events. Yeah, this is nice. I'm actually chill here a little bit and uh, start heading down. Maybe explore a bit more of the basement, see what, what more stuff I can find. Then get out of the city because it's, uh, it's kind of uncalm here, but it has its moments. Previous rooftop spire and this tower climb were the things I was most worried about. They're in the middle of this city. I have not yet tested the sensitivity of these people, but so far it seems pretty chill. Never worried about the structure itself. I can evaluate it pretty good. Never a problem to do these things, but it's an issue of the things that I cannot control, the reactions of people. If there ever is a problem, that's the problem. I do these to escape people, but ironically, sometimes I get more and more into their attention. But so far, so good. All right, let's check out some more basements. Okay, more modern computer. This, uh, this gas stove, looks like it at least. Okay, so this might actually have been the jail of the stadium. Definitely looks like it. Okay, 2017. Wow, so this stadium is not as old as I thought. It looks trash, though. It's only been, what, five years? Interrogation room. This looks like it's a garage. Bunch of signs. Ooh, a mixing console. And no high fives, man, is still here. He's everywhere. Especially cool for me because, you know, I kind of dabble in music. All my mixing consoles are virtual. This is the first time I'm touching an actual thing. So it's you who I'm always paranoid about. It's pretty heavy, actually. There's the lens. Okay, seems like it's pretty much it for this side. I think I pretty much got the idea of what this place has to offer. Definitely want to spend a bit more time here, but I also want to move on and check other places. But more than anything, I want to eat. I haven't had anything since morning. Let's move on to the next place, leave the city. It is getting real warm out here. We're going to this abandoned villa nearby. About 15 minutes away from here. It's near the sea. There should be no people around. It should be pretty calm. I want to cook some food, eat there, chill a bit. Actually, driving is not that difficult. It is more fun for me to be driven than to actually drive. Then I can just focus more on the scenery, dip out the window with my selfie stick. Regardless, it's really good for me to completely take things into my own control. Everything's according to me. It's really fun not to just to everybody and completely depending on myself. The villa should be somewhere on the left if it's not demolished, of course. All right, here we are. How do I look? like fur covered in sand weird ass beach yeah anyway that's that and uh these are not not my style so here's the villa there's a weird guy that's been standing near just circling it over and over um actually walking towards him so we'll see how that goes by Seems pretty chill. So, I don't think he lives here, but he has some business with this place. Looks pretty cool. Oh boy. Seems in great condition. The roof's not in the best condition though. Okay. That's better. 
I was actually planning to sleep here if I would come into the city a bit later. But now I'm just gonna chill here a bit, eat, and head into the mountains. There is a very cool spot that I think is gonna be the one for tonight. But yeah, it's food time. Cook up here, it's a bit nicer view. We basically got a bunch of these dry meals, plus a lot of candy bars and stuff. That should sustain it for a couple of days at least. I really don't wanna depend on civilization too much. Y'all pretty much know how it goes right now. Wait for this to boil, pour it in, then I can eat. There are flamingos over there. <laughs> I've never seen them before. That is so cool. That is so cool. I've never seen flamingos before. Yeah. So prior to this trip, I was not actually doing that well. I had a lot of... Well, I still do. I got a lot of mental stuff to be dealing with just for myself. And these trips just... put it simply, help me figure stuff out. Or at least distract myself from, from the stuff that's bothering me. I still don't feel calm completely on them, you know? I have to worry about a bunch of shit as well. But it's definitely better than what I've been doing, which is basically sitting in one spot and feeling like shit. I don't really talk to many people as well, but I look at that as a positive. That looks very yellow. It tastes very yellow as well. Lemony. Would you know? It's pretty damn good. This is a really nice place. A lot of movement around them near the street, so I don't think I would have had a very calm night if I did decide to sleep here. But yeah. On to the next one. This next place I'm heading to is an abandoned mine 30 minutes away from here. The only thing I'm not sure about is the exact path I'm gonna get to it because Google Maps shows that there is a road directly to it but when I zoom in the road gets really gravelly. We'll see how far I can drive and then when I can drive I'll just hike I guess. There's a very nice industrial area. There is a lot of stuff out here. That chimney does not look like it's working. Okay, on second thought, I'm turning around a bit. I'm pretty damn sure that chimney is abandoned. Three minutes till I'm there. It's not going to be a big detour, although it is like 15.30 right now, so the sun's setting in about two hours. I should get to the mine while it's still bright. At least I'm hoping. Come on, look at that. I can't pass that up. That looks too cool. Okay, hopefully this is not some kind of a territory. Is that territory in use or are those just abandoned cement trucks? <laughs> I swear this journey is not a sponsorship by Fiat. The chimney does not even seem in an actual territory. Sure, it's like fenced in. No, it's actually not even fenced in. It's just in a field. So yeah, if the ladder is not too rusted, this is looking pretty good. We'll see. It seems like there is even a path towards it. I'd say 80 meters. It's a bit rare for me to see these. Cool. Well, it feels actually quite sturdy. Let's get to the first level, maybe second, and then I'll see if I will continue. Well, the outer cage seems to be a bit janky, but the ladder itself, they're very sturdy so far. Platforms are okay as well. I think I'm gonna go for it. Seems decent. Of course, for you, this is gonna go by in a flash. For me, it's gonna be about 20, 30 minutes. At least it's gonna get me in shape a bit. Told you, in a flash. It is so calm up here. I 
that just seems sturdy enough. I'd like to walk around here. These bricks seem okay, but I like the metal a bit better. And that further there seems like some kind of an oil refinery or something. I drove in through there and I had a hunch to not go in there. And I was right, it's not abandoned. It's just poorly maintained. I saw cars driving in and out there and uh, there's two parked. This chimney is in no man's zone, it's beautiful. It feels safe, it feels calm. Boop. And echo. Nice to get away from the city. Just a lot more space. Plus this was, I always trust my hunches. I know how to spot abandoned stuff. Don't have much that, you know. In, in these moments, I just like to enjoy them. And maybe by pointing the camera at me, my <laughs> emotions will somehow translate to you without words. But, you know, half of my face is covered. You can only see the eyes. But maybe you can tell how I feel in these moments, even through my tone, even through my mannerisms even through the blank look of just forward staring i guess i don't i hope i don't always have to express verbally what i feel yeah exactly Oh, cool. How old this chimney is? Everything is quite sturdy. All right, so according to maps, it is going to take about 20 minutes to get to the mine. If the car can actually drive through there, then great. I'm not actually sure where in the mine I'm gonna sleep. It, it has buildings, it's not just a cave, more similar to an abandoned factory from what I've seen. What I'm most looking forward to in the mine, having dinner, baby. All of this with a bike would have taken forever. I would have had to bike the whole day just to get here from the city. I will bike again. I got some routes that I want to do, but for these type of journeys, different places and a lot of distance, the car is perfect. Oh boy. Unexpected. This is the gravel road. So if it stays like this, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, it seems like it's the end of the road there, so can't drive any further. Cool, looks like this is the place. I'm gonna have to do some hiking. Well, it turns out there is no cell phone reception, like at all, zero. It just shows like it. So that's actually very fun. It's not terribly far from civilization, but I like it when there's no bars on the phone. I should be coming up on the mine pretty soon. This road didn't seem that long. I covered majority of the distance with the car. Hmm, intriguing. I thought I was coming up on an abandoned building and, well, that building definitely seems abandoned, like an abandoned power station. Floods destroyed this place and trees and roots are almost all exposed. It's so cool. Okay, that is the main mine building, I guess then. The rooftops aren't really good to sleep on because that's what I'm thinking of doing. I don't really like sleeping inside these places. If those aren't gonna do the trick, then I'm gonna head to that. That seems pretty flat. Wow, this place looks so much cooler than I expected. This is sick. These roads seem like cars drive past them. Maybe farmers, maybe something so. But I doubt there is a road straight to the factory. I hear some sheep bells or cow bells or something. Somewhere there. Can't see them, but I hear them. I think I'm gonna go down here and go past the dried out river to the factory because I don't wanna walk all the way around. It is winter, so the sun is quickly setting. The problem is I'm gonna have so much time till the morning. It is going to be like, I think 13 hours or 14 hours or something. Not the worst thing, but just a bit boring. Because it's only 
six now. And there's some art on it. Interesting, interesting. Wow, this place is collapsing. Okay, I'm gonna use these stairs. Oh, this place is huge. I'll check it better in daytime. Okay, the morning. It's probably gonna be the most beautiful morning I've had in a while here. It's gonna take a while for the sun to rise back up, but damn, this place is amazing. In the middle of a valley, all these mountains around me, protecting me from the wind. I don't see any other lights, so I'm pretty sure the farmers have herded them up or whatever and just went back for the evening. Depends if the wind picks up, but right now it's like zero. It's beautiful. I can just lay out here in the open. So yeah. Since I have plenty of time, I decided to just get the sleeping set about, have some to do. Can't wait for the morning view. That's gonna be incredible. Yeah, there are the dogs. All right, anyway, I'm gonna start cooking. <laughs> that dog is really pissing me off. I'm gonna have to listen to him expressing his frustrations with the world all night. And he seems like he has a lot of frustration. I'm all snuggled in. Right now it is 8, so I got 12 hours till the sun comes up, but I'm gonna use those beneficially. It was a great day, and I really, really want to see this mine area in daytime. Explore the buildings. It's gonna look amazing just waking up to the valley. Catching the sunrise, it's gonna be sweet. <sighs> yep, talk to you in the morning. Good night, 